Hi right, folks, it's Drive Films, Drive Films again. We're doing a, another update for the uh, previous two videos. Um, Miss Stewart, and judging by what she's been tweeting, well, I think you're going to need a new spade, another spade. So, um, there you go. New spade ready. Ready if you want it, if, if yours gets worn out. Now, one thing I must say, quite a lot of people have been sending tweets to her. Let me point out one thing. Um, sending violent tweets, threats against her, is never is not a good idea. It's never a good idea to talk to anyone anyway, but... The whole point of making these videos is to keep people updated on how she's digging herself a hole and how the hell we're just protecting her. And what the hell we've been up to. I'm going to go upstairs in a minute and I'll show you what the kind of statements they've been putting out. Also, it's worth noting that um, my last video there was a link to the cached version of the article before it was ordered, before the title was ordered, before the comments well, were, were taken off. They have since updated it so the cache version shows the actual version, that the newer version. Luckily, I got the foot, got my to get the towel, and someone else on their Facebook page has got like got got like the rest of it. So basically, when I post on their Facebook page, said Google never lies. They tried to cover that up. They're trying to cover themselves up yet again. Um, yeah, let's let's go upstairs and I'll show you. The kind of tweets that are being put around and the statement that the Herald have put out and it's pretty pathetic, so um, let's have a look. Okay, if you give a shaky hand, shaky hands here, but uh, here's what basically it says. Katrina Stewart's column in the Herald of September 11th has generalised much comment online, generated much comment online. It has caused offence, it was neither Katrina's intention nor the Herald's to do so. Ha ha. The intention was to use a story about the conviction for keying an expensive car as a starting point to write about our views on people who drive expensive, expensive high performance cars. The views that such people tend to find, tend to drive aggressively and in a disrespectful way will be shared by some readers but opposed by others. Uh, by the way, the guy who keyed the car got that off the guy whose car it was, he said, doesn't want any further action taken, but that's not really the point. This is her opinion and she's entitled to express it in a newspaper that believes in free speech and open debate. I said for you be moderating and deleting comments on the Facebook page as well. You can't wave the flag of freedom of free speech when you're deleting people's comments. Anyway, her attention was to use the example of Keane to reinforce the position of such drivers as this. She showed you with making references to Keane that were intended to be sardonic. No, they weren't sardonic. I don't think they were. Anyway, that's my opinion. And obviously, if she was joking, she might have put a lol in there. Anyway, catch anyone ever kill or rise vandalize a car? The held condones neither the ac neither action and believes that those convicted of such offences should be punished appropriated, appropriate by the law. We believe in balance as well as open debate, but you're deleting comments. And in today's edition, we publish an article by the commentator Andrew. Okay, and that article, I'll link it, try and link below, it's it's pretty much pathetic. Basically, I think the editor asked him, right, something to try and say this, and he just did his half arse thing. So, got nothing against him, I've not really read his articles, but it's a bit crap anyway. That takes issue with Katrina's views. In addition, we publish on today's letter pages correspondence from three readers who disagree. Three readers, yes, you didn't bother for publishing up to 53 comments on this bit. Our intention in publishing Katrina's article was to simulate interest and debate. We have certainly done so in this case. It was not really our intention that it should be being the outcome for reasons that might have been viewed as questionable or wrong. That is a pretty pathetic press statement. Um, oops, wrong one. <laughs> well, that just showed up. Come on. Oh, no, let's see, you know, you, you're still putting your other stories, doesn't matter about all This is when I, this is when I should edit this, but I can't be arsed, I did it. So, ju ju judging by, um okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, Martin Reddit to stimulate interest in the debate website clicks. Yeah. Quite a lot of people have commented. Quite a lot of people. Yeah, similar debate. You delete your readers' comments several times. You disable the feedback and comments feature. How is this debate? How is this supporting free speech? I was a jump the hill, no at all, making sweeping statements far too long now. I finally she goes too far. Well, I'm not sure about all the things she's written. Uh, you can read this. It's on the uh, facebook.com slash Scotland. Anyway. As I try and... I'll try and bring up the Twitter bits and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, this is... I'm just going to quickly flash through these. You can look at her Twitter. Please do not tweet anything violent towards her or any threatening behaviour. That is not what this is about. Basically, she she does she she's trying to dig, dig to get, keep digging, you know. No conceived article. Didn't actually cover so it. It was just mentioned in my comments. Yeah. You know. If I'm not allowed to judge that expensive coin as a base on few experiences, why is it fine to judge the? Oh, I think you missed your tweets out though. Yeah, people calling them up slight like it that's not what this is about, folks. Oh that's not another yeah. Should have added that ability to play the victim victim while digging deeper <laughs> normal quality. In your opinion we're entitled to, though the response of the car fans appears to think completely back yours up. Back car fans are not backing you up. And it's not just car fans, decent people who actually can respect other people's property. Hyperbolic hypocrisy, <laughs> yeah, okay. And it's just... Oh, that's, that's reference to um, someone reversing into her car. And I'm not sure if she... She has put like a Twitter picture, and I'm not sure if she still drives it, but she drives a Nissan Micra. And the top speed of that Nissan Micra is about 104 miles an hour, so um, I don't, I don't, so with that comment of um, what's the point of driving a car that goes above 70 when you can only drive 70? So again, that's out the window, yeah, that, that, that person's a bit. <laughs> that person is not what it's about, we should not. No, no threats of violence against her, please. I still can't stand her, but no threats, threats of violence against her. So yeah. But basically, she she's digging a hole, and so is the um, the editor and the paper. Also, if I can just put this up, I think I hate about Twitter. You got to scroll everywhere. Yeah. Martin Gallagher got in touch with Menzies and cancelled my hair to my store. It's Carl's Keys last week, so the Herald editor, you're losing, you're losing views on your website. You're losing readership, I, I guess. News agents cancelling your paper is it's not going to be good. It's not good. So it's 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 getting getting worse and worse and worse. And if I just check on, just check on the Facebook. Uh, I sent an email off. It wasn't the independent independent press complaint service. It was um, a different website. I'll I'll show the email I got off them because I actually emailed them. I think. Uh, Okay, Facebook doesn't want to cooperate. This is the worst edited video ever. Alright, uh, let's zoom in a bit. Focus. Yep, Independent Press Standards Organisation. I've sent a complaint to them about it. Uh, they say your complaint is currently being, ass being assessed. Which is shortly. In the meantime, please don't hesitate to contact if you have any questions. Should 
if so, the side that you can Plain fails outside of email and does not raise a feature of code, they will write and explain. Yada 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 yada. And they'll send a copy and we'll send a copy of your complaint and alert to the publication. So basically I encourage people to do this if they're not done also done so already. Because this needs addressing and this two issues does playing the victim card and digging a hole further and further and I think she thinks it'll go away but it won't. And that's the thing with the press, you have to face up to your actions. Um, I'm on YouTube and if I do anything bad or say anything bad, I have to face up to the consequences of that. And the same should go with the bloody press. They can't go out and print a bullshit story and expect to get away with it. And basically this is what this, is, this has happened and it's, it's not going to get any better. So, um, yeah, also check out this gentleman's blog, I'll link them in the last video, I'm going to link them in this video as well, so, um, oh yeah, oh, I forgot her name, but on Facebook that was a complete brilliant meme, so I use it as near thumbnail, so, um, yeah, basically that's it, fill in the EPSCO complaint form, and uh, hopefully this will be resolved and I will not have to bore you again with any more updates. Thanks for watching.